Right, so what hole are we on? Uh, four, 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 four. I think it's four. Uh, par three, I think we've got 174 metres. I think it's... Uh, I think I've got the wrong club. But you get that on the big job. So I've got six iron. I reckon it's going to be a push to get six there. Sorry, I'm just off camera setting up the... Uh, the tracer, um, so yeah, 174 down breeze. I think fully warmed up. I think it's okay, but I think uh, this will be a l maybe a little short, so I might have to give it a little bit more. That wind, I'm just not sure what it's doing. Okay, all right, got to hit a good one. I've hit it at the bottom, go a little bit. It was certainly right at it, but I've hit it a bit out of the bottom and I'm guessing it's not gonna kick up. It was right at it, so. I'm gonna call it short, unless it's in the hole. Yep, another one short, bugger. Right, so a lot of people have actually asked me about what's going on with this live stuff and the PGA Tour stuff. I mean, I've always been for live, I've always been for golf, I've always been for just let it be. Um, there's a lot of people with their knickers in a knot, which... I sort of get it, because then people feel like, well, those that left, they get the best of both worlds. I mean, that is a risk you take. That is capitalism. That is, if you choose to do something, to be loyal or not, do you get rewarded for it? I mean, in these days, it seems to be less about loyalty and more about what you can provide the business and I don't know it's to me it is what it is don't get your knickers in a knot deal with your consequences if you've chosen to do something deal with it um, yeah it's, it's a hard one it's a hard one because those that uh, didn't go missed out big time sit All right, well, I'm gonna need a putter. See, that's how confident I was. All right, I better go grab a putter. But yeah, it's still sort of going along. It, 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 it's a choice in which, you know, people make. Everybody needs to deal with consequences. Everybody needs to take accountability for their actions, whether it's right or wrong. But it's all just part of, it's all just part of life. It's part of business. It's part of, it's part of everything. You just, you can't whinge and whine too much. This is, this is the way the world's heading towards. Is people want to whinge and whine and say, woe is me, poor me, I didn't get something. When in actual fact, everybody had the opportunity or a lot of those bigger players potentially had the opportunity to do what the other big players did. Now, is that the right decision to go to live? Well, it's, it's up to you and your values. It's up to you and your religion. It's up to you and what you think you know, is, is going to be the benefit for you. I feel like it's going to go just a little bit to the left. And it went to the right. There you go. So that's a complete misread. Um, yeah, I just sort of feel, even though it sucks that some people didn't make the money and it happened anyway, but again, like all business and all massive business, like, who controls the world? Biggest businesses in the world control the world, plus who controls them? Well, yeah. So big businesses uh, are gigantic, ginormous, multi-billion, trillion dollar corporations, governments, people with no names. Like, they're the ones that control the world, and dare I say that it was a backdoor thing. Uh, not good. It's not a good look for Jay Monaghan. It's not a good look for anyone like that, but guess what? It's happened. Deal with it. That's so what we need to do, just bloody move on. Right, oh, Jesus, I'm chucking stuff everywhere. Right, so uh, fifth hole, par four. What have we got there? 300 odd meters? What have we got? 330, 330 odd meters around to the right. Now, I don't really need Chief here, but I'm gonna, because I haven't hit one yet. And I wouldn't mind to hit one. Uh, back into the breeze a little bit here. 
I don't know if I could hit it up over this first tree here is the only thing, so I think I need to get it moving to the right. Um, I also want to mention about merch as well, like people have been asking about that a lot, and I'm lazy. But we do have head covers, as in driver putter. Uh, we do have some wallets, we do have some uh, ball markers. What else have we got? Towels. So I've been lazy and I need to take some photos. Maybe today I'll take some photos and put it up and link it somewhere. But yes, we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out. But um, yes, cut up around to the right over this big tree if I can. That's basically what I'm, what I'm looking for. A bit of a cut would be absolutely lovely. I just hit a bolt straight. Get lucky. I mean, that's long, but that's over on like the ninth hole or something like that. So what do you go? They go two par threes, I think, and then the next hole. So I think I'm gonna be blocked out. Poo. No cut there. Tiny pull, straight, straight draw, if anything. Right, so here I am out onto, well, like I said, I'm not sure what hole it is. I think we're five, six, seven, eight. This could be eight. Um, I have, I think 110. I think I've got about 110-ish. I've got trees to deal with. This is 110. Uh, this is certainly not the smartest shot that I've probably ever played, but I can't hit anything high enough to get up over these trees. And it's a bit of jail in there, so I'm gonna hit a five iron and sort of keep it low and hopefully, hopefully I can get it near the green. It's gaps everywhere up there, just don't hit it. Don't hit a tree, so 110 meters. Well, it went through a gap. <laughs> it wasn't the gap I wanted. It was further left than I wanted, so I forget what's up there, but I reckon it's going to be okay distance-wise. I struck it well. So, basically, the gap I was looking for, I'll zoom in and I'll show you that. So if we go, where are we? I was looking at going for that gap there, the biggest one, and it actually went through that gap there, the, the smallest gap that I'm looking at. So, anyway, let's get up and see if it's in a bunker or near the green. Right, so it was actually a bloody good shot. Like I said, it was left of it, but it's, uh, it's actually turned out mint. So, on the green from 110 odd with the five iron. And, uh, I mean, it's not putts that I'd like, but it is what it is. Uh, probably gonna move from the camera's left to right. At least you know, towards the hole, I feel. Like, it all feels like it's downhill towards the hole. It's rolling good. No, it's diving away. The greens aren't super fast, but they're certainly not slow. At least they're rolling good, that's the main thing. They're rolling very, very nice. They're rolling very nice. There's lots of coverage. Again, I was talking to the fellas, uh, one of the groups up in front, and um, and they were saying, yeah, it's a bit disappointing, it's a bit waterlogged. You can see there's a bit of water in the bunkers there. Uh, 30 mil will do that. But um, it is what it is. Again, we need we need rain, but this is a winter's day in Queensland. Bloody disgusting, isn't it? Absolutely disgusting. So, par three down the hill to come, and then par three up the hill after that. So, bloody beautiful. Love the course. Rightio, so, what do we got? We got the sixth hole. Par three downhill, uh, what did I say, one six something. I think it's mid-high 160s. We got six iron, because it's downhill, uh, the wind, yeah, so it's playing uh, near 10 metres shorter than the, uh, than the last par three I played and I was short. So this should be spot on, really. This wind, is it down though? Because it's starting to get a little breezier. What's this wind doing? I'm not sure. Jeez, it's swirling around back here. 
I'm gonna stick with the same club. Stick with the same club. It's probably actually at my back more than anything. right at it. Go in the hole please. Sit! Oh, it's just on the back. <laughs> Maybe it was a seven iron, but again, I sort of dug that out there, squeezed it in there. Really nice ball flight. You know, maybe you can see it. I might try to zoom in on it or something, but yeah. Nice flat flight straight at it. It's basically uh, two or three meters maybe left of it and on the back edge. But the pin is up the back, so it's not terrible. The boys are loving it, pumping it. So as you can see, the pin's right up the back. It wasn't too far away, but I pitched on the green. And this is the thing, it's all back to front from here. It's all back to front. And really, I should, probably should chip, but downhill, probably shouldn't. <laughs> Not too sure here. So all I gotta really do is get it on the green and away we go. But when it's on this down slope like this, it's hard to align and it's hard to get the ball started. On the right line. Go, go, because that's right in the heart. Bugger. So I hit my six iron pitch marks right over here. I don't know if you better see it. I might twist the camera around a little bit. It's pitched. It's pitched uh, basically pin high. Basically perfect pin high, just shy pin high. And caused a bit of that, so yeah. Close, very, very good. Again, maybe a full seven iron, but still got out of it with a par, so. Doesn't really matter too much. Beautiful. And don't forget, smash that like button. <laughs> 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 you that's what you say, don't you? Oh, that's what they say to say. Hey? I don't know. If you don't like it, don't like it. Hit, hit this like, who cares? Yep. I don't care. But anyhow, see you then. Beautiful. See you.